Hey everyone, my name is Audrey. I'm the director at Camp Linden and today we will be working on the Junior Jeweler Badge. So we will be completing steps three and five. Step three is to make uh, jewelry using everyday household items and step five is to make a piece of jewelry to give as a gift to someone that you care about. So we'll be doing actually three different pieces of jewelry by Things you'll need include scissors, tape, hot glue, magazines, and you'll want to make sure at least one of those magazines has pictures of nature that you can use for the activity we'll do for step five. So for step three, we're going to be making beads using pages from a magazine. So make sure you find a magazine that's either old or that you're okay with cutting up. I like to try and find pages that have different patterns or colors on it. And then you'll want scissors, some string, and I forgot to mention that you'll want a pencil or I use a wooden skewer. Um, anything that you would be able to wrap your beads around would work great. So you're going to take your piece of magazine and you're going to cut into thin strips. You can make them as wide or as thin as you'd like. And then once you've got a good amount of strips, you want to go ahead and start wrapping them around your skewer or your pencil. So you're going to hold it tight at the end. And then just wrap it all the way around. And the reason you want to use a skewer or a pencil is that's how you make the hole through the bead. And then once you've made it to the other end, you just want to secure it with some tape or some glue. And since we needed hot glue for the next activity, that's what I'm going to use for this one. Just make sure you're super careful if you are using a hot glue gun. And then you pull your bead off and it'll look like this. And you'll see the hole through the middle. So once you've made all the beads that you want, you can go ahead and string them. I like to make things a little easier by putting the string along the skewer and feeding the beads over the top.
So when you're done, you just tie the knot at the top, whether you want it to be a bracelet or a necklace is totally up to you. But this is just a fun way to reuse some household items and make it into a piece of jewelry. So next we'll move on to step five. Um, this one is going to be a piece of jewelry that you give to someone as a gift. And since it's spring and everything is blooming and colorful, we're going to make a nature-inspired piece of jewelry. Um, and since we don't want to take living pieces of nature, we're just going to use a picture of something we found in a magazine. So you want to pick something relatively small. So I'm going to use this orange flower and you'll want some hot glue and you'll need the gun to be really hot. So make sure you have someone with you who can make sure you're using it safely. You'll also want scissors to cut it out when you're done, as well as a piece of paper that you can set your picture on. That way you don't get any hot glue on the table. And then when you're done, you will want a piece of string so that you can make it into either a bracelet or a necklace. So go ahead and lay the picture down. And you're gonna take the hot glue gun and you want to completely cover whatever picture you chose with hot glue. So it doesn't matter if your bead is a perfect circle or not, as long as the entire picture is covered. All right, so once you have done that, you're gonna sit it down and let it dry. And then when your shape is completely dry, you'll just use your scissors to cut all the extra paper off. And there's your bead. And then to attach your string, you can just put a little hot glue on the back. Make sure you're really careful when you lay it down because it is hot. And then you can use something like a pencil or a wooden dowel to just press the string into the hot glue. All right, and then once that dries, you'll have either a necklace or a bracelet that you can give to someone you hear about. So another fun thing that you can do is use the hot glue to make a bracelet out of words. So flip through your magazine and find either one word or a couple words that you really like that you might want to make a bead out of. So this one's going to be pretty big, but I'm going to use changing the world. All right, and again, just make sure you cover the whole thing. And this one, since it's bigger, I'm going to try to make this one into a bracelet and we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm just going to let that dry. All right, so when your shape is completely dry, you're just going to cut off all the extra paper. There's the main part. Now I'm going to try to make this one a bracelet using ribbon. So I'll put a little bit of hot glue on one end. And then really carefully just use the dowel to press it down. Or a pencil or whatever you have. And I'll turn it around.
thank you guys for watching. I hope you had some fun and got to try something new.